Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia now. Found guilty of murder in a notorious gangland slaying, a co-defendant in an organized crime trial says he should get another chance to defend himself. Late last week, lawyers for Paul Wiedek asked a judge for a new trial, arguing it was guilt by association to be tried alongside a former mafia don. Target 12 investigator Tim White covered the trial from the beginning and is here now with the details. Jurors heard from 34 witnesses, and the vast majority of what they had to say was aimed at former Mafia Don Frank Salemi. Attorneys for Paul Wiedek argue that wasn't fair. For weeks, Paul Wiedek, seen here in an FBI surveillance photo from 1992, sat directly behind former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi at federal court in Boston. In the end, both men were found guilty of murder for the 1993 strangulation of Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro. On Friday, lawyers for Wiedek said the judge made a mistake by allowing prosecutors to try both men at the same time because jurors heard testimony of murders and other crimes committed by Salemi as he rose through the underworld ranks. Wiedek's lawyers wrote, the court allowed guilt by association evidence, which was error. The majority of testimony was aimed at Salemi, including from Rhode Island mob brothers Robert DeLuca and his brother Joseph. The butler did it. <laughs> But prosecutors were able to convince the jury that, though he was a bit player in the New England mob, Wiedek held DeSaro's legs as he was being strangled. The charge of murder of a witness comes with a mandatory life sentence. Both Salemi and Wiedek will be back in court in September for sentencing day. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.